so welcome guys in a new video in this video we're just gonna try the new godot 4 uh, the alpha the first alpha version is being released yesterday so we're just gonna like try it today uh, i'm just gonna like try uh projects in the asset library it's a simple project from the from godot it's like the movement realistic movement i think so let's try it the first thing that i'm that i saw in the new Godot 4 is the real-time rendering of the light so it's like the lumen in iron in giant 5 but it's in godot it's a cool thing So if we go to the project settings, we can saw that this first alpha version of Godot is working in Vulkan, and this is a cool thing, and this is why we have a good graphics in 3D. So if we start the game, we can see that the graphics has been improved a lot, so this is a cool thing. And the physics is also approved. We have now cool physics and cool graphics. So this is a cool thing for developer who want to make 3D games in uh, like a free and open source software and it's good out. So this is a cool thing. Also in this uh, version, we have a new version of JTScript and it's like the JTScript 2.0 and it's much faster and much easier than the previous version of JTScript. So in this version, they improved a lot the light and the shadow. So we can see that the shadow is more like is more realistic than before, and the light is more realistic than before. So this is a good thing in this version.
so if we adjust the light we can see that the light is approving the graphic so we're gonna start now and now you're gonna see that the light is approving the graphic and this is a cool thing so if we approve the light we're gonna have more graphics and more better graphics so it's it's a cool thing in this version And now, if we adjust the shadow settings, we can see that the shadow is more realistic if we start the game. So now, let's start the game and now you can see that the shadow is more realistic. We improved the graphic with the light and we adjust the settings of the shadow. So now, we have more realistic shadow and more realistic light. So, I think that this is the best version of the Godot.